Hello, hello, Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome, all Virgos. Welcome, all newcomers. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. Let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of April. April is a very lucky month, so try and use the energy. It is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Please go back and look at the general readings. That is going to be helping a lot of you, Virgos. All right, Virgos, let's go and see what is happening. All right, so we see um, here the energy of the star. Congratulations, Virgos. A lot of you are going to be successfully um, coming out of some sort of a situation. You're going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation that was career. Success is going to be here for you. Um, then we are looking at Elin. If a lot of you, Virgos, wasn't well, um, in the month of April, some sort of a healing is going to be coming in. This is going to be good. A lot of you are going to be overcoming obstacles and situation that was created, or you're going to be helping other people that is going to give you a success in the first week. So congratulations again. Then we are looking at the second week, and the second week is the numerous, some sort of a unexpected surprises. Virgos, oh my god, Virgos, go check out your um Aries season because the last week in the Aries season you're going to be successfully as as if luck the universe is going to be bringing you luck. A lot of you Virgos are going to be very, very lucky the first week and the second week. Go check out your uh Aries season reading and the full moon the first week, the second week. Of the full moon and the Aries season, the two last week of the Aries season, luck is going to be here. That is the luckiest card in the deck. That is unexpected luck. Third week, I see you have a water energy, the Eggman energy. Um, um, this is going to be um information going within in order to recognize who you are, going within in order to see where you know, what is your direction moving forward, going within to find out who you are, and this is going to be good. The month is the Wheel of Fortune, and you guys have the lucky energy. Energy of the devil is here. The energy of the devil is here. And some of you are going in to recognize a situation that has been transpiring and seeing the truth and putting the puzzles together. You're going in and recognizing that there is someone, a group of people, that is causing a whole lot of issue. And you're going to be seeing this clearly in the month of April. So, luck. A very, very lucky month for you, Virgos. Extremely lucky. Oh. Two last week is uh, not very good, but the two first week is where your luck lies. The second week is very, very lucky for you, Virgos. Okay? Second week. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have here. We have... Uh, um, we have here in the first week, but this is an energy of all the elements. This is water. This is hurt. This is hair. And this is fire. So this is the wheel of fortune. This is Jupiter. Jupiter. This is luck. Okay. Um, then we have uh, the hangman energies uh, has to do with uh, Neptune. Okay, going within the self has to do with Neptune. Now, the energy of the devil is uh, Aries, negative energy, frequency, focuses. Not really an Aries energy, but it is people with ego. The devil is the ego. Sorry. Devil is the ego. Can be sometimes Aries, but it's the ego. All right. The eight of tombs. You're going to be successful at your work, Virgos. Congratulations. A lot of you, Virgos, could be getting promotion and being very, very successful honors, um, really positive information is coming in about your work, Virgos. When it looks, when people look at your work, they're going to be having positive information. The explorer after tomb. So you, um, young people between the age of eighteen and and, and fifty, um, the explorer of the tombs comes up where you young people are going to be successful at your work. Success is here. For young people, um, yes, you Virgos, yes, whether men or women, 
you are going to be successful at your work your luck um, in the general reading go check out the general reading the first week was the earth week so you are going to be very very lucky in the first week especially if you're doing exams anything that you're doing with exam you're going to be passing with an eight so whoever is however you virgos are want to do an exam go because you're going to be passing with a eight okay that is good then let's look at your lucky week a lot of you are going to be luckily successfully overcoming a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man. They have recognized what the Pisces cancer or a scorpion man have done. They recognize the foul play of an O of a Pisces cancer of, uh, man. Maybe it's your boss, your supervisor. You're going to be extremely successful. People are now going to be recognizing what this man has done. And that's why a whole lot of you young people are having or people Virgo and a whole is having success. No new start is here for this man. Whoever this man is, this man is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. No new start. They have recognized what uh, this man have done to a lot of you Virgos. People are now recognizing a foul play of a, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion man. And no new start is coming up for this person. So I see a lot of you Virgos could be happy about that in the second week. In the, the third week, I see it's a water energy. It's about you going within. The heartbreaks is going to be over. Congratulations. The heartbreaks is going to be over because people recognize what the spicy scans or scorpion man has done. Um, this person have worked against you and this person have created a whole lot of pain for a lot of you and people are now recognizing the unfavorable game of this uh, um, Pisces Cancer Scorpion Man and the heartbreaks that he brought in your world. Um, then we see the three of candles um, and this is the three of wands. You are successfully turning your back on a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person and is moving forward in a new direction, leaving this person behind because of what this person has done to you. So this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. What we see here is that a lot of you at work is going to be extremely successful. Your business your work is going to be extremely successful. Um, you were heartbroken because someone um, wanted to block you from moving forward. But I see um, that you're going to be moving forward um, as someone who is a, um, a young Virgo person. Uh, you young Virgo person, be aware. But you're going to be successful over some sort of a problem that your old boss, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, have done to you. Truth is coming out about this. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, Man, and I see you're going to be successfully moving forward in a, a positive direction. I see success come over this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, Man. Then we're looking at the last week, the week of the ego. The last week is the week of the ego, and we see you're dealing with a, um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Um, whether this person is the creator of veils is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, you are really going to be successful over this person. This person is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. The heartbreaks that you were dealing with for this person is going to be okay. Over. The Explorer of the Bells is coming in as the Explorer of... Uh, an Aquarian Gemini or Libran. Whoever is an Aquarian Gemini or Libran, I see this situation between this Aquarian Gemini or Libran is going to be over. Whatever this Aquarian Gemini or Libran have done to some of you, I see the truth is going to be revealed. So what we're looking at is that there was a, a Scorpion man, a Pisces or a Scorpion man, a Pisces man or a Scorpion man, and a Pisces Cancer. It could be a couple. Heartbreaks, because these couple, you Virgos, have shown these couple for what they have done. I see a new start is going to be coming up for um, um, some of you Virgos because you showed up some sort of a, um, a situation that was created. I see luck is going to be coming. You're going to be luckily overcoming this egotic base. So this is was ego. Ego from a Scorpion woman. Ego 
um, that a scorpion moment has uh, transpired, has created some sort of a heartbreak for you, Virgo. But now it's ending because information is coming out because a Libran is going to be speaking up about a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman and they're going to be recognizing what was going on. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we see um, art breaks um, for a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion man and his wife. Whoever the Pisces Cancer a Scorpion man is and his wife, heart breaks for these uh, two for this couple because people have recognized what they have done for you no art breaks you are celebrating over um the spices against our scorpion a man and his wife they have now recognized what they have done so whoever this ex-boss supervisor is or a couple that is a pisces or someone that um have some sort of an issue with a pisces cancer or scorpion person and they had um heartbreaks for you because of them it is now over because you're showing up these people and you're going to be successful they are going to be all broken because whatever they have tried against you then it will i see a lot of you are going to be victoriously overcoming a liberan um they're going to be recognizing what a liberan have done and uh, um i see changes is going to be coming up for you no new start for a Libran. They recognize that our Libran have created a whole lot of problems. A whole lot of problems. Whoever this Libran is has created, um, and used their egos and created a whole lot of problems. Okay. Now, um, some of you, um, a young Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person between the ages of 18 and 45, um, it's not going to have a new start. They recognize what this person has done. Um, information came out as to what this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have done. No new start is coming out for this person, okay? Um, because some, and that is in your foundation. Maybe it's your child. Maybe it's a younger person at the work floor. A Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is not showing up who they are. This is your reading. So it's not, it's not you Virgos is someone else. It can be a Taurus or a Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 15, some sort of a problem. They are not going to be um, getting out of some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation um, because people have now have information and recognize. So I see they don't have a future because some sort of information came out. A Libran could be speaking up and saying what they have done. Okay, at the workplace, whoever was dealing with um, a couple, whether they're Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, or a non couple, but it's two people at the workplace, um, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, I see heartbreaks for both of them because um, you Virgo showed them up uh, that they were very deceptive in a situation. Then we see the energy of the star, okay, and there is going to be, you're going to be overcoming the ego base because it is all coming out all coming out okay so you have number 33 it is a powerful powerful month you have the energy of number 33 it's a powerful month your heart breaks is going to be over and you're going to be moving forward okay so this is good extremely powerful a lot of people are having double numbers so you virgos have number 33 and it's about art breaks and you let it go and moving forward and healing. They recognize that a, um, a um, scorpion person or a cancer person, the shadow is a scorpion person. They recognize how very deceptive a scorpion person is, a scorpion woman. They're now recognizing the deceptiveness of a scorpion woman they're really recognizing who the scorpion woman is and how the scorpion woman has gone so far to create a whole lot of problems and issues okay mm. Mm. <laughs> oh boy okay ladies and gentlemen Mm -mm -mm. I have to be having my sap because I'm late. I'm late. Okay. Let's go. Let's move on. I have to be having my sap because I'm late and I can't stop. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's happening. So, 
they're going to be recognizing the ego of a friend how a friend have used their egos in order to create a low lot of problems they're going to be recognizing who this friend is a lot of you are going to be recognizing who this friend is and how this friend have created a whole lot of problem and the ego of this friend how this person used their egos to create a whole lot of problems around you okay the uh, end is here for a Pisces, um, Pisces Cancer, Scorpion woman. The uh, end is here for this woman. If this woman could have been your friend, could be a relative, but it is an uh, end is here for this lady. They recognize the ego of this lady and how this lady has created a whole lot of problems. So, um, they are looking back and investigating a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, they're going back and investigating. This person is this person is no older than fifty. This person is uh, forty nine. Okay, um, between the ages of eighteen and forty nine, and this person is not going to get a new start because they recognize what this person have done. They went back and look at some sort of a data and information and recognize what a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person have done. This person is between the ages of 18 and 49. Okay. And they now recognize who this person is. And they went back and look at a whole lot of things. So what this person have done. The end is here for a friend. They recognize what a friend have done. Um, they recognize what a Libran have done to some of you. Um information is showing up um some sort of a um secrets that your friends were keeping all right so i see they're going to be recognizing something about an aquarian gemini or libran something about their past um they're going back this is the well so the well is about deep so they're investigating something about their past they're investigating um the past of a pisces cancer scorpion woman and they're recognizing some false plays. So I see an end is coming in to a long relationship that some of you have had. Because people are now recognizing and seeing the truth of who these people are. Your heartbreaks is going to be over. Maybe your father and your mother has caused you some sort of a heartbreaks. This is going to be over because people are now recognizing the truth and what these people have created. All right. What do you have? You have... The man holding the coin, number 43. Write these numbers down. You have number 33, okay? And you have number 43, the man holding the coin. So you rich men are going to be making more money. Um, You rich men, if you are younger than 50, I see no new start is coming up for you men, um, businessmen. If you're younger than 50, no new start, older men, yes. Some sort of information is going to be coming in in the first week, going in the second week about a businessman. If you businessmen are younger than 49, I don't see any new start for your business because of something that you have done. A lot of you could be meeting a very rich businessman, okay? All right, so this is number one energy, the bone collector, um virgos the bone collector is coming in and when the bone collector comes is the bone collector comes up when there is something that needs to be dealt with it's as if this bone collector come up and said let look um virgo businessmen you need to recognize what you have created for yourself and other people is it good is it bad because now you're going to be clearing your karmas so this is actually a month of clearing karmas number one this is the first time the energy of one comes up and it's going to be more affecting businessmen the man holding with a coin rich businessmen rich men businessmen this is when they're going to be saying hey you have been profiting from a whole lot of people for a long time now it's time for you to pay up and that is going to be coming in the second week going in the third week the last energy that we have is dreams and 
um, daydream and decision. Number seven, emotion. This is the seven of cups. Emotions. Emotions are happening. And the emotions has to do with some sort of information that came out about an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person. For some of you, um, some sort of information, a lib um a Libra person is looking at themselves and recognizing their very emotion and by being in emotional state a Libra person is looking at themselves and recognizing what they have done what they have created a whole lot of emotions so where um, a lot of you are going to be receiving and going deeper in yourself and having all these emotionals that you need to heal and cleanse and you're going to be capable of doing it so it's going to be emotions but it could be emotional information that is coming in or you're just looking at yourself and you're recognizing, hey, I'm dealing with certain issues that I really um, need to balance out myself. These are emotional issues that um, only, um, you know, me can, only myself, only um, my higher self can help me to re resolve these emotional situations that you're dealing with. So... It's going to be emotion and it's going to be emotions because of something that has transpired with you that you have to heal this yourself. And it's as if you can't look to someone else and heal this. You have to heal this yourself. So it could be something about your wife that is a scorpion that is going to be coming out that is going to hit you like a brick. Whoever the scorpion is, the end is for the scorpion woman and her friend. They have recognized the false play. So heartbreaks is going to be here for a scorpion woman. Um, and she's going to be very emotional. Um, but, you know, she has to pay her karma. Whatever she has done, she's facing up to herself and have to pay her karma. So for some of you, it could be a friend. Some of you, it could be your mother. But she has to face up to herself and repay her karma um, because she has created a whole lot of uh, emotional situation. And um i've dug deep in the, the emotional emotions of people and it's going to be recognizing that so wow ladies and gentlemen um this is powerful um this month of april is going to be powerful there's no question but your luck lies in the first week and the second week the third week is a little bit where you're going to be recognizing who your friends are and how your friends have treated you unfair. And that is going to be coming up in this say, um, month of April. And a whole lot of deep emotional situation. A lot of you are going to be ending, getting rid of, letting it go and be happy. Write this number down. Number 33, um, number 47, number 7, number 1, and number 7. So twice seven twice seven okay um and this energy um this twice seven energy is good because it's like setting you back on a new thus you have 717 717 whatever you do with these numbers write them down because they're very important all right i do love you guys i gotta go but i'm saying i'm staying until next time please go and listen to the um season reading the airy season reading the two first week is going to be good your two last week is going to be very rocky um and i love you guys thumbs up namaste